everyone, so this week things are actually happening which is crazy because things never happen. Today I'm going back to my parents house and then from there on Tuesday we're going to be travelling up to Manchester to see my brother and we're going to be staying in an Airbnb. I want to vlog because travelling is historically really hard for me. Um, long car journeys are very very difficult, I have been known to get very car sick and also very anxious, I've had panic attacks in the car on the motorway before and unfortunately when you're on the motorway you can't pull over and stop so I've had very bad experiences in the past though that hasn't happened for a long time but I also haven't been in a car for a long time so I don't know whether that's likely to happen um, this time um, but also other than just the literal travelling, staying in a new place, being more sociable, we'll probably go out to dinner a couple of times, um, those types of things all use energy and can be difficult when you have a chronic illness and, and you need to carefully ration your energy and prioritise things that are important. Obviously spending time with my family, seeing my brother, those things are important to me so this is why I'm going to be doing this obviously. I want to show how I keep the balance of spending time with family, participating in activities um, and also looking out for myself. This is only a tiny, tiny trip because it's the first thing like this we've done in years. So literally the last time we went on any holiday was summer 2019. This is a very small holiday to a place within driving distance to an Airbnb um, and we're not going to stay there very long. So a little practice run because I haven't been on a holiday in so long and because my health does go up and down it changes. You know mental health, my physical health has been on a roller coaster over the last year and a half because you know for obvious reasons the world's been very difficult to live in. We're just easing back into doing little trips um, and this is where we're starting. So I thought I would vlog and you could see how I manage or don't manage. So the first thing I have to do is pack. Um, though we're only going to Manchester for two days I think, I will be at my parents house for longer so I probably need to pack a week's worth of stuff. My mum's going to pick me up at four, it's two, I haven't started packing yet. This is not how I do things. So I think I've packed everything. I'm tired. I don't know if I've packed well. I don't know. I'm just kind of giving up. Uh, I'm going to watch some TV and lie down. So I've got about half an hour until my mum arrives to pick me up. So I'm just going to lie down and do nothing for a while. Hi guys, so it is travel day. I'm at my parents' house right now, but we will be getting in the car, the new car, it's very exciting. Getting in the car and driving to Manchester. I don't know how this is gonna go. Historically, I'm quite bad at cars. So fingers crossed it's gonna be okay. Hopefully it will be uneventful because that will be good news for me, but um, I can do this. I can do this, I can do this. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, right? See you in the car. <laughs> we have officially arrived and it's super cute in here. Hopefully I'll get you some nice aesthetic shots. So the journey wasn't even that bad. Basically, I slept most of the time and I didn't feel car sick at all because mostly we were on motorways and big roads and it was okay. Obviously, I need to have a rest now, but I feel good, but it's okay. We did this. Step one, scary thing one, done. I 
I am resting, yay. I am really tired now, but you know, not not more tired than I expected. I probably feel, I definitely feel better than I anticipated, so that's good. My parents are gonna go pick up my brother from his house and bring him to our Airbnb so we can have dinner together. <sighs> good morning. Here's the next day. Brother came over, we had dinner. It was very nice. Um, we had a takeaway, which took ages to decide on. I was getting really hungry and really quite stressed and I did manage to hold it together. I didn't have a panic attack, but I did think I might. But I didn't, so it was all okay. And then it came and it was really good and we chatted and then they left and I went to bed. I didn't sleep great. I sleep badly, I didn't sleep great. Um, I found like, the bedding quite itchy. I think I got up at nine, maybe, maybe somewhere around then. Um, I had breakfast and then I took my braids out and I've got this going on. Just done some little bunches and I've also done my makeup um, just for the day. Still in pajamas, but I have made progress. Um, I'm so, I'm so tired. We are going to my brother's house for lunch. Um, so I need to get dressed. But before that, I'm gonna lie down for at least half an hour, maybe, maybe longer. Um, but try not to fall asleep and try not to mess up my makeup. But there we go, that's, that's what's going on. In the car, going to lunch. Hmm. Yay! So we've just been in an escape room and it was pretty fun, but now I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> like that was, I mean, was it an hour? I don't know. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. And I just now I feel done. And I want to go back to the little apartment thing and have a lie down. Got a headache. I'm just very tired. dinner now and I'm dead. <laughs> um, it was really good though. The food was really good. It was a nice time. I just need to go to bed and try not to do too much tomorrow. The problem with tiny like short holidays is you don't have enough time to rest. I logistically this is just what worked out but I think a week long holiday for me is definitely dead is definitely better because then there could be whole days where I don't do any activities because we were a bit because we've only been here um, two days so far and tomorrow's the last day you kind of feel like a lot of pressure to like pack all this stuff in I mean I just I feel pressure myself to like make the most of it whereas if it was a week then I would be able to have more days rest I want to just sleep in a dress I don't know. I'm just gonna lay here for a while before I actually do anything. Good morning, it's the first day and I am exhausted. <laughs> and guess what? We get to spend four hours in the car today. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm not looking forward to that. If I wasn't already feeling very terrible, that's going to really do it, but it's fine. Nice events like this are worth overdoing it for, because I have the rest of the week where I don't have to do anything. I still have yesterday's makeup on, that's not what you're supposed to do. Back in the car, on the way. Home. Hopefully the 
this car journey will be as good as the last one. We just stopped at a petrol, no. We just stopped at a service station and I got out and I'm so dizzy and my knees are so like, weak and weird feeling. We were going so incredibly slow walking to the toilet. Um, and on the way back, we were keeping pace with a an elderly couple, one of whom was wearing a um, um, a backpack an oxygen tank backpack so I thought that that was a good achievement um, with uh, same pace as them that was nice um, uh, I'm not sure what the point of that story is in fact I'm quite foggy I'm quite foggy and tired <laughs> I'm just so tired at this point like I'm not really functional anymore <laughs> um, and I want to be at home an hour left, something like that, so nearly back. Yay! Good morning, it is the next day and there's a reason why I didn't do any more vlogging last night. And that reason is I felt really, really awful. If you've seen my bad evening with the MEC Fest video, something like that, I don't know. It was quite like that, I was very out of it, I was very, I was very... I was very out of it, I was slurring my words, I was in quite a lot of pain, I, my body kept like twitching, which is such a weird symptom and it's really unpleasant. Um, I really wasn't up for vlogging, it didn't even occur to me, I just was so so tired that it was pretty rough. Um, so then I went to bed and I could not fall asleep. And I kept waking up once I had fallen asleep. I don't know what was, what was going on. So that's all the vlog footage there is actually. But I'll tell you what happened for the rest of the week. Nothing. Because I barely got out of bed. And when I did, it was probably to slowly walk to the sofa and continue to do nothing. Um, I felt incredibly awful all week. And I didn't feel like vlogging, and I didn't realise I hadn't ended the video. Um, so, I guess the moral of the story is, if you want to go for trips and you have a fatigue problem, I think going for more days, though counterintuitive, does actually make it easier because you can rest. You can have a whole day to rest, or at least, you know, more than... A couple of hours here and there which is what I had on this trip and it was just not enough. If you're looking for advice I think that's mine. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, bye!